Hi, I'm Fiona Jennings from Yellow Crane Tai Chi here in Belfast. And we're going to do a session today of Qigong. So what is Qigong? Qigong is sometimes called the grandmother of Tai Chi. Tai Chi is several hundred years old. Qigong is certainly several thousand years old, maybe three or four thousand years old. So it's a set of, or a system of Chinese exercises, and they incorporate body movement, breath, and mind focus. So what we're going to do is just some very simple exercises here. Focus on this set is going to be around building your immune system and calming. So we just start off with the feet roughly hip width apart or about a foot apart. Try and get your feet to point forwards if you can. And relax your knees. Qigong is slightly different to yoga in that we don't push, we relax and we try and allow the muscles to stretch by relaxing. So we'll start off, just relax the body, close your eyes if you want to and just start at the top of your head, relax your scalp, relax your eyes, Relax your mouth and your jaw. We carry an awful lot of tension in the jaw, so try and relax that. Relax your shoulders. Relax your belly. Let go of the six pack. Relax your back and your shoulders. Relax your hips. Relax your thighs your calves and just feel your feet on the floor. Any thoughts that come into your head, just let them pass through. Don't let them disturb you. Even if you're on the second floor of a building, imagine your feet going right through to the center of the earth and let the back of your neck stretch up a little bit so that you get a little bit taller and your spine just decompresses a bit. Take a big deep breath in, lift your shoulders right up to your ears and then let it all go. Try that again, breathe in and breathe out. One more, breathe in and out. Feel yourself relax. You've had your eyes closed, just let them open now, blink them up slowly. And we're going to start with what's called the flow motion. So lift the arms, palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down. Don't lock the elbows. Leave the knees nice and soft, just relax. Now we're going to add the feet in, and as you bring the palms up, lift your heels a little. As you bring the palms down, rock back onto your heels, lift the toes. Up on lifting the heels, Heels down, lift the toes. Keep going. If you go too far back, that's good. That challenges your balance and sees how far you can go. You don't have to stretch up. You can just go as much or as little as you want. 
what this does is it boosts your immune system by pumping the lymph better. The lymph is part of your immune system. It helps the blood circulate better by relaxing and squeezing the leg muscles. Helps your breathing, helps you to calm. And if you do it, you will realize it's exercise. So just take your time with that. So now we can add the breath in. It's entirely up to you what way you want to breathe, but you, most people find it you can breathe in better as you lift and breathe out as you come down. Always time the movements with your breath, so go at your own pace for breathing. Don't try and make your breath too fast or too slow. Just your normal breath and down. Now we're going to change the palms. Palms down, palms down. Some of you may recognize this as painting the fence from Karate Kid. Up and down. So you can do whichever you prefer. Do both. Just the moving is important. Just doing the best you can so long as you're moving. Feeling your arms. Feel the way your feet rock backwards and forwards. Now we're going to settle down again. And we're going to do another exercise called opening the chest. So we lift the arms up, turn the palms to face, open the arms, close and down. Up, palm space, open, close, and down. When you open the arms, don't pull them too far back. And don't lock the elbows, keep the knees soft. If you pull your arms too far back, you'll find your chest starts to tighten. And the idea is just to open the ribs and let the air come in. So we can breathe in and out. Slightly longer breath, but again, match your movements with your breath. Start to move up and down as well. Up, open, close, and down. Just go down as far as you want to. Doesn't have to be very much. Just feel the legs pushing your arms up and pulling your arms down. In, out, in, and out. Feel the arms, feel the way your body moves. Focus on the breath. Now we're going to change this to one called coming up for air, which again is a great one for the lungs. So make a loose fist and we're going to arch back, breathing in and then breathe out, bend the knees, 
Bring the elbows together. Breathe in. Breathe out. In, open the chest and out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In, out. So what we're trying to do with that exercise is to stretch the muscles on either side of the spine up and down and side to side and at the front here and that gets them more flexible so that you can breathe in better. Helps your lung capacity and your lung strength. So we're going to finish off with um, some shaking. So this is really good, again, to relax you, to calm you, and to boost your immune system and get your blood pumping through the body. So we'll just literally shake. Keep your knees soft. Imagine you've got a ping pong ball in your belly and it's going up and down. Let everything relax. Don't lock your knees. We can do front side up high let the wrists be nice and loose feel your body moving and your breath just let it come spontaneously at first just remember to breathe And you can do it more slowly. You don't have to go so fast. Just depending on what you want to do and what you're able to do. And just settle. Feel how your body's feeling now. Get yourself centered back, just relax again, let yourself pour into the floor and stretch up to the sky. Just going to finish off with a grounding just to get us settled, calm, Breathe in, sink a little bit, hands come up the side. Breathe out, stand up and push down. In, sink. Breathe out, push down. Sink, breathe in, hands come up, rise, push down and breathe out. Keep the shoulders down.
Any of these exercises can be done seated if you're not able to stand. Always keep within your own limits. The rule in Qigong is only 70% of your maximum. So don't stretch too far, don't push it too much. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. <laughs>